Well, hello everybody. My name's Marlin. Uh, all of you out there in Cyberland. My name's Marlin. The channel's Old Fart Hacks. And this is part of the ongoing so story of me slowly fixing the running board on my, my navigator. My son-in-law tried to help me out um, in taking this part of the bracket off. He broke the screw off. Then he proceeded to try and drill it out. And now I'm trying to fix that problem. But that's not what we're looking at right now. Um... What we're looking at right now is the remains of these bushings. These things are so in there tight that there's no easy way to get them out. Aside from perhaps breaking the bushing. So let's see. I did get this one out. This should be 12 millimeters or thereabouts. Okay. So 11 and a half on this hole. Do we have another hole that's cleared away? No, we don't. So... We shall work with the 11.3635, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this in just a moment. Anyway, off to another setup. See you in a bit. So anyway, folks, what we're going to do here is take this here bolt. The body is a 10 millimeter body. It barely goes through the bushing. We're going to turn the head down until it's 11 and a half, 11.3 millimeters. In other words, just enough to catch and drag that out. The reason I'm doing this is if I try and just beat those out, there's a chance of breaking that bracket. And those brackets are hard to come by. They're almost unobtainium and they are expensive to buy. So we're going for the cheap. Shall we turn things on? Ooh, power. Yeah. And away we go. little spring in the thing. Hot chips. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to stop this for right now. I'm going to turn it down to a diameter and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're finished turning. The diameter I ended up turning that to was, let's see, what did we get this measurement? 11.5, which is what I was after. And then the trick is, this is the hole that doesn't have one in it. And it fits very nicely. It's a little bit of a wobble, but it'll allow me to pull these easily. What I'm going to be doing at this point, of course, is putting a nut on the other end of that bolt, standing it off so the threads don't come in contact, and then use it as just a straight puller to pull this out. Because, again, I don't want to have to buy another one of these brackets. I've already got broken ones around. Anyway... When I get around to doing the actual pulling, I'll run you another video. But that's, we now have, let's put this in a little safer mode. We now have a somewhat usable puller. Bye all. Hope you have a great day. Don't get caught.